Ram 1500, Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year. It's the ACC on ESPN here at Doug Kingsmore Stadium. The rain has gone away from earlier in the afternoon. We're getting set for the first of three between the Clemson Tigers and visiting Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Hi, everybody. Welcome in with Jose Alvarez. Pete Gannity with you. Last weekend, good ACC star for the Tigers. They took all three from North Carolina. Great series. If you're a Clemson fan, they won it by balk off, walk off. They played good defense, had good pitching and timely hitting. So the Tigers, a second straight conference series. Notre Dame back on the road for the second time and as many conference weekend battles and notable that the Irish have yet to even play a game in South Bend this season. Throughout the first five weeks of this campaign, they've been out to Arizona, down to San Antonio. This is their second trek through the Carolinas on their spring break jaunt this week. They've been to Winston-Salem for three against Wake Forest, played in Cullowee against Western Carolina, and then three here in Tigertown. Take well, they've got their hands full tonight and this entire weekend. The Clemson team is playing good baseball. You can see it here on Gilgenbach. Uh, their best hitter has 20 strikeouts against five home runs. I believe that he's going to be the catalyst for the Notre Dame team offensively. They've got some good pitching, but this guy right here is what Coach Aoki feels is one of their catalysts to get the job done. Meanwhile, the Tigers have a left fielder who started the season playing third, but Sam Hall has now found a home back in the outfield, and he's really added a dynamic quality to the top of the order. I call him Sam, the study hall guy. You need to watch this guy play. People, as far as their teammates, are looking at him very versatile. He's doing it offensively with a 367 average, but you cannot substitute speed, and he has 10 stolen bases, and he knows how to stretch it out into a double when he does hit that single. So Sam Hall's doing a great job. Give you the Irish starting lineup for their head coach, Mick Aoki, coming up on nearly a decade guiding the Notre Dame team. Spencer Myers leads things off in center. Daniel young has been around for a while. He's a junior first baseman. Putz, Cavadas, their other power threat to go with Gilgenbach. Those guys back-to-back -back in the order. Their highly regarded sophomore catcher, David Lamana, hits six. Brooke Coetzee gets a start in left field, bat seventh. Jared Miller, the shortstop, is followed by the ninth place hitter. Ethan Copeland, Mick Aoki, and... Notre Dame making the Irish's third ever trip to Doug Kingsmore Stadium. The Tigers defensively with Hall joined by Teodosio and Bo Mikowski getting the start in right field tonight. Rewarded for some recent good work by Monty Lee. Bird Davidson, Jordan Green, and Briar Hawkins around the infield. Kyle Wilkie, the catcher. For the Tigers, freshman righty Davis Sharp, who gets set to go back to the hill on the season so far. This will be his fifth start, a 2-0 beginning to his career. The strikeouts to walks ratio really impresses him. Yeah, no question about it. Davis Sharp has everything that is a scout is looking for for next level, but it's more importantly for the Clemson Tigers. He's given Coach Lee and the Tigers everything they want and more out of a freshman. Leadoff man Myers, the center fielder, first pitch swinging and fouls it away. He's a native out of Tampa, Tampa, Florida. Yes, yes. how about that? A shout out to uh, his parents, David and Elaine. I know they're watching on ESPN Extra right now, and I got to meet this fine young man. Being from Tampa, I always like to meet some of the Tamp Tampanians, and uh, he was uh, very kind to say hello to me and talk about some of our Tampa days and missing some of the good old Cuban sandwiches down there. <laughs> First pitch at 6.03 p.m. This guy out of Berkeley Prep, and he's looking at an 0-2 pitch coming from Sharp. And a swing and a miss. Foul tip held on to by the catcher, Kyle Wilkie. Three-pitch strikeout for the first out of the game recorded by Sharp. Well, this is his bread and butter. He throws a hard cutter, low and into left-handers. He's consistently putting it on their back foot. He, he When I say he sat on, he's, he's in a fastball-hitting situation right now, especially with base loaded. He knows that Davis is going to come to him. Ball gets away from Wilkie. Here comes the runner from third. and Checking in with a second run, Lamana. Other runners advance. So now second and third. Count 3-0 and oh on Meyer. That's an important pitch right here. First and second when the Irish got a pop-up out of Coetzee. Here's a shot on the right side. And Green bobbles. And he's going to put it in his pocket. Another run will score. A second error in the inning against the Clemson infielder, scored E4. Jung at first will not get credit for the RBI, so the bags remain full. Two men out still, and a 3-0 Notre Dame lead. Not a difficult play at all. Again, he let the ball play him. It just seems that there's just a little bit of a lackadaisical 
effort right now, which has been is very uncharacteristic of what we've seen from the Tigers so far. So Tigers are trying to make something happen. Let them know that they're they. And Teodosio on his horse again. An excellent read by Teodosio. He saw the ball in the dirt. He was already having the, the, the secondary lead as the pitch was being thrown. And you can see that he really, he reads it very well. When the ball's down, he's gone. Bryce Teodosio on three pitches has gotten from home to third, and the ball has not gone past the pitcher's mound. Upon single, a couple of wild pitchers. Tigers don't have a triple this year, but this essentially is as good as getting a leadoff triple for the speedy center fielder. Well, you can't steal first in this game, but you can steal second, third, and home. And a chopper will stay fair. Teodosio probably would have scored even if the third baseman Cavadas had corralled A RBI single for Bo Mikowski, and that rewards his head coach for getting him in the starting lineup for Mikowski on the season. That'll be the first RBI. Her name's Mick Aoki as Grayson Bird stands in. Chops to first. Second for one. Back to first. A 3-6-3 double play. Fourth time this season and second time tonight that Bird is grounded into a double play and quickly two outs here in the Tigers' six. Well, he swings at the first pitch again, and it was just a weak ground ball that pretty easy to handle by Jung at first. Tavadas from Granger, Indiana, went to Penn High School. Right side, Green to second for one. Plenty of time to first. And the Tigers turn the twin killing. 4-6-3 on the double play to close things out. In Notre Dame's half of the seventh inning on the season, the Tigers' fifth double play they've turned this year. Seventh inning stretch time here at Doug Kingsmore. Tigers need a rally down. He looked at the runner. Yeah, that's, you know, he did everything right except seeing the ball go in the glove. He, he came in towards the mound, shortening up the distance between him and Hennessy. Six out of eight this season, stolen base-wise, lined into left field. Runner will be waved. Up with it and throwing to the plate is Hall to be cut off. And a third hit and third RBI in the game for Miller, who just barely gets back to beat the throw. So... Jared Miller, the shortstop, began the night hitting 250, but he's had some kind of ball game. He's upped his RBI total in the season to 11. Then it might have been ruled the other way. Ethan Copeland, one for two of the night. He's also walked. Minor to right center field. Teodosio diving and comes up with it. His reaction was that he might have lost the baseball behind him. Didn't realize he had it in his glove, but... Uh, Good hand from the folks here who saw it all the way, as it turns out, Teodosio did. Top shelf play by the Tigers center fielder. Notre Dame leaves a runner stranded, but they add to their lead with a run of the inning on a couple of hits. A 5-1 ball game as we have. Wendy's biggie bag, huh? That's quite the pace. This Tigers staff has established. Gilkenbach, though, dangerous batter, swinging and driving high to deep left center field. Hall gives chase at the wall, reaches up, and it's out of here. We talked about him in our open. Eric Gilgenbach, one of the few power threats for the Irish coming into this game, and he has helped Notre Dame blow this one open with his sixth home run of the season, a three-run blast. Well, he's shown that he's a first ball, fastball hitter, and that's exactly what he received there on a platter, and good hitters with power, you're not going to be able to sneak a fastball by him on a first pitch like that. That, especially in the middle. Won two out of three at Wake last week, but if they can use just one pitcher tonight, because this Clemson team has been potent and a tough team to beat. 107 pitches against Eastern Michigan down in San Antonio was the previous high for Sheehan. And the chopper to short, the flip to second by Miller, and that'll do it. And Tommy Sheehan and Notre Dame coming in and getting an opening win in this series, 9-2. to The complete game for Sheehan, the sophomore who stepped up big tonight to improve to 3-1. and one. Well, he really did, Pete. He threw strikes. He was effectively wild, only walking three guys, two to Kyle Wilkie. But he kept the Tigers off balance, throwing strikes when he had to. His off-speed pitch was effective, and he, from the left side, he, he did a great job. you got to tip your hat to him tonight and to uh, the way that Notre Dame hit the ball. The, a lot of defensive miscues by the Tigers, and unfortunately for them, it was probably one of the sloppiest games 
that the Tigers have played all year, and I'm sure they're looking forward to a, a better weekend. Char takes the loss. He falls to two and one. Clemson with the defeat now 13 and four on the year. The third loss here in Dunn Kingsmore this season. And the Tigers drop to three and one of the conference. That's now Notre Dame's ACC mark. And they're seven and nine. Overall are the Irish. Sheehan ends up throwing 121 pitches. Allows seven hits, just two runs, struck out four and walked three. Nine, ten, and zero for the Irish. Two, seven, and two for the Tigers. Those two errors coming in a three-run second inning for Notre Dame, which set the tone. Tomorrow, the Tigers will see another lefty, and they will try to have a lefty of their own, Matt Clark, get them back even in the series. That could be a good ball game for this weekend, seeing Keyshawn on Sunday. So, uh, the Tigers got some work to do. Notre Dame wins for the fourth time in eight games all time at Doug Kingsmore 9-2. For Jose Alvarez, Pete Kennedy saying so long. This has been a presentation of ESP.